Today let's look at a parallel circuit. Here is our two resistor parallel circuit. I have R1 and R2. R1 is going to be 1K and R2 is going to be 4.7K. We have a voltage source of 12 volts. Now a parallel circuit has two or more paths for current to flow. We look at our current, it comes out of the source, goes to this node. At this node, it splits up. Part of it goes through R1, and the other part goes through R2. Eventually, the current will flow back to meet at this node, where both currents meet back up, and the entire current flows back into the source. Let's go ahead and look at the totals for our circuit. So we have V total, we have R total, I total, and P total. V total is 12 volts. Now we have to find R total. There are two different formulas for calculating R total. One is called product over sum and the other one is the reciprocal formula. So let's go ahead and do the product over sum first. So our product over sum states that R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. R1 is 1K times 4.7K over 1K plus 4.7K. All right, so let's go ahead and put in the calculator. I have one exponent three times 4.7 exponent three. And we get an answer of 4,700,000. So let me go ahead and put this in, 4,700,000. All right, now we have the sum. So we have 1 exponent 3 plus 4.7 exponent 3. And we get an answer of 5,700. So let's go ahead and do the division. So we have... 4,700,000, so that's 4.7 exponent 6, divided by 5.7 exponent 3. And we get an answer of 824.56. So, the circuit has an R total of 824.56. Ohms. So I'll go ahead and put this over here in the answer key. 824.56 ohms. The other formula we have is called the reciprocal formula. And the benefit of the reciprocal formula is that it uses the reciprocal key on your calculator to make our calculations a lot easier. So let's go ahead and set up the reciprocal formula. It states that we have 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Now the benefit of the reciprocal formula is that it is open-ended. In other words, 
This circuit only has two resistors, but if we had five, we could do all five of them together. So the actual formula would be R1 plus R2 plus 1 over R to the N, where the N is the total number of resistors that we have. The product over sum formula only can do two resistors at a time. So you would have to calculate the two resistors, take the total, and now do the product over sum again for the answer and the next resistor and so on and so forth, where this one allows us to do it real quickly. Now again, because of the reciprocal key on our calculators, this isn't that bad to do. So let's go ahead and do it for our circuit. We have 1 over 1 over 1K plus 1 over 4.7K. All right. So let's put it in our calculator. We have 1 exponent 3 reciprocal. See how I hit the reciprocal key? And that gave us 1 milli or 0 0.001. Now we're going to add that to our 4.7k. 4.7 exponent 3 reciprocal. And that is 212 micro or 0 0.0002212. So when I hit equals, I have 1 over 0 0.00. .00 one, two, one, two. And the last thing we need to do is take care of this one up here. So after we hit equals, we hit shift and the reciprocal formula key, I'm sorry, and we get 824 point five six and as we can see that's exactly what we got before so it's up to you how you which formula you use the reciprocal or the product over sum but again with the reciprocal key it makes this formula very easy now let's go ahead and calculate i total so remember ohm's law you would have v over i R. Now we're looking for I, so we cross it off, and it says that I is V divided by R. So, we have V divided by R total. V is 12 volts, and R total is 824.56. So we would go 12 divided by 824.56. That gives us an answer of 14.55. Now, we have here again, it's negative 3, so it's milli. So the answer is 14.55. Three milliamps. And we'll go ahead and put this over here in our answer key. So we have fourteen point five five three milliamps. Let's go ahead and calculate p total. If I look at Watt's law, we have p divided by I V. Well, we're looking for P, so it tells us that it is I times V. So I have 
I total times V total. I total was 14.553 milli times 12 volts. So, I already left the 14.553 on my calculator from when I calculated current. So all I had to do was times this times 12. And we get an answer of 174. Point six three, and I'll round it up six three nine milliwatts. And I'll go ahead and put this in my answer key one seventy four point six three nine milliwatts. All right, now we are going to find the individual values of each resistor. So we have VR1, IR1, and PR1. Then we have VR2, IR2. and PR2. Now this is a parallel circuit and in a parallel circuit voltage remains the same. So by VR1 I'm going to go ahead and put 12 volts and by VR2 I'm going to go ahead and put 12 volts. Let's go ahead and calculate the current through R1. Current through R1 will be VR1 divided by R1. So we have 12 volts divided by 1K. So we go ahead and put 12 in our calculator divided by 1 exponent 3. And that gives us an answer of 12 milliamps. Now go ahead and put that in our answer key. Let's go ahead and calculate PR1. PR1 would be IR1 times VR1. IR1 is 12 milli times 12 volts. So I already have 12 milli left on my calculator from when I calculated my current. So all I have to do is times 12 and we get 144 milliwatts. And I'll go ahead and put that in my answer key. Now let's do IR2. IR2 would be equal to VR2 divided by R2. So we have 12 volts divided by 4.7k. So we go ahead and put in 12 divided by 4.7 exponent 3. And our answer is 2.553 milliamps. 2.553 <coughs> milliamps. I'll put that in our answer key. We have 2.553 milliamps. Let's go ahead and finish this up with the power for resistor 2. Power is IR2 times 
times VR2. IR2 is 2.553 milli times 12. And since I have the current still left up here on my calculator, all I have to do is hit times the voltage of 12 volts, and it gives us 30.638 milliwatts. So we have 30.63 eight milliwatts. We can double check our answers with Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of all the current branches must equal current total. So we have IR1 plus IR2 should equal I total. So IR1 is 12 milli plus IR2, which is 2.553 milli. So we have 12 exponent negative 3 plus 2.553 exponent negative 3 and that gives us an answer of 14.553 milliamps and of course it's exactly what we have here so our circuit is good thank you